should say. So when you meet with a customer, do you provide the different scenarios to them and then let them choose which works best for them and their families? Yeah. So the process at this point, I think, is what becomes relevant. So regardless of whether you're watching this video and you go solar with us or you go solar with someone else, or, or with someone else, there's something you should know, right? Um, one of those things is that um, you shouldn't really go solar unless you have a high enough electricity bill, right? You wanna have an electricity bill north of you know, 50 to $75 a month um, at a minimum uh, to justify getting solar because that's when you'll really see the return on investment begin. The higher your electricity bill, the more you stand to benefit from it, right? Um, the second thing is, you know, the, the, the homes themselves, depending on where they're located, where your home is, the incentives are slightly different, right? One of those incentives that's different uh, from area to area is net metering. Um, so net metering is basically the practice of um, the solar modules exporting excess solar energy not used um, by the homeowner back onto the grid, right? Um, and that's one of the benefits of a renewable resource like the sun powering your home is, is you can have surplus power. So depending on your utility company, you will get credited a certain amount of money um, for the power you put back onto the grid. Some utility companies credit you a lot, others don't. You wanna make sure that the company you're going with um, and if you go with us, you'll, you'll, you'll for sure know the incentive um, is, is going to have a good net metering policy. So one of the other things that's relevant though, and this applies to everyone, regardless of where you live in the United States, the um, federal government has a tax credit for solar. So that tax credit right now is at 26% or up to 26% of the system cost, which, uh, will range and fluctuate a lot based on the size of the, the system that's installed. So that'll save you alone, you know, five to $12,000 on, on your um, solar installation. So once you do that, you're locked into that rate, but the tax credit does um, prorate over time and will eventually be eliminated. So if you're thinking about waiting to get solar, um, that's probably not the best solution. Uh, urgency tactics aside and salesmanship aside, you definitely want to do it sooner rather than later. That makes a lot of sense. And when people put a solar system in their home, if they can't afford to pay for the whole system, like out of pocket, is there financing available to those people? Or is this more of a cash and carry type of a business right now? Yes, we absolutely do offer um, payment program. Uh, it, it, we look at it more as a program, right? We don't really look at it as financing because um, while it falls under that category, it's really more about just a plan, right? To make sure that you can pay for the system, you can benefit from it, um, and you can go solar for zero down, right? You have to have a requisite credit score, depending on which company you go with, that credit score is, you know, 650 or higher if you're not going to pay in cash. Um, some companies may have a higher credit score standard. Some may not have a standard at all, right? It, it, you will run into some companies who um, will, you know, say that they can install you when they shouldn't, right? You may not have enough electricity consumption in your home to make solar worth it. Um, you may uh, not have net metering policies at all in your area that make solar financially viable. Um, and it, it just may not make sense for you based on your roof type or the infrastructure of your house. Um, so most homes in the United States can get solar power. Um, there are exceptions to the rule though. And just because everyone wants it doesn't mean that everyone can necessarily get it. 